Hello, Scorpios. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of August 3rd to August 9th. This reading is for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of August 3rd to August 9th. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you like my energy or my vibe, hit that subscribe as well as the notification bell so that you are notified when I post new videos. I am going to shuffle two more times and then I will begin your reading. Again, if you have Scorpio as a moon, as a sun sign, a moon sign, Venus or rising, this reading may resonate with your situation. Spirit, what is the overall energy for the sign of Scorpio? What is the overall energy for the sign of Scorpio? take these three. I thought it was one card coming out, but it was actually three. So, starting out for your overall energy, we have, let me get these cards in order. We have friendship. We have attraction. And we have connection. Friendship, attraction, and connection. So, we are going to pull your, uh, or get your tarot cards together. Or, not together, but shuffle and then pull your tarot card energy. I hope you all are enjoying this beautiful day or night, depending on where you are. Let's see, spirit, what is the past energy for the sign of Scorpio? What is the past energy for the sign? Okay. We have the four of wands. The hanging man, Pisces energy. And the empress, Libra energy. So we have... Pisces and Aries here. I mean, Libra here so far. Maybe someone is dealing with uh, an Aries. We have Pisces energy here again. So some of you could definitely be dealing with a Pisces or have Pisces in your chart. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. The Six of Cups. Hmm. Trying to make sure all the cards can be seen. Those of you that uh, watch my videos often already know that I like all of the cards to be shown. We have the Nine of Wands, 
the double card, Capricorn energy. And the Ten of Swords. And the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, this could have something to do with someone either knowing their worth or someone um, learning someone else's worth or seeing someone's worth at this time. So right now, we have friendship, attraction, and connection. So right now, you may feel the need to connect with your friends. You may need to feel, you may feel the need to, to connect with your friends to bring in balance and harmony within your life. Because you may need to, um, you may feel the need to be social, like engage in social activities at this time because that's what our friendships do when you know when we get together with our friends it kind of like balances out our lives so i feel like at this time you want to connect with your friends to bring in some type of balance in your life in the past you could have been in um a good relationship a loving relationship an important relationship but right now things could be stagnant or stuck or not moving at this time with the four of wands and a hanging man could be with the Pisces but right now you feel like the situation is stuck and not moving forward um with the Empress card coming out, you may feel the need, you may want to be nurtured at this time, or you could be dealing with a mother or a father of your child, because um, there are children, like someone can have children, there are children in that Four of Wands card, someone could be married, but you feel like things aren't moving, and it could be because of a marriage, this could be someone married to another person, I don't really see third party energy. If this is not your marriage, someone is married or in a relationship with someone else and they have children with this person and you feel like the relationship is not moving forward. Yeah, because the moon card came out next. That's secrets. Someone, you could be uncertain about this relationship, uncertain about where things are going because the moon card represents uncertainty, secrets, um, things that are hidden. Yeah, I feel like something is, um, something is a secret. And with the seven of pentacles here, Seven of Pentacles, you could be working on working on the relationship and patiently waiting for this person to come in. Or this could go either way. This could be your energy or this could be your person's energy. Because because someone wants to reconnect with the person that they are dealing with or someone from the past with the Six of Cups. Because this person makes you happy. And with the Nine of Wands, you're going to continue, you or this person, someone's going to continue to diligently work towards this relationship. Although, it could be toxic with the devil card. It, this could be a toxic relationship. Someone could have addiction. Someone could feel overwhelmed. Someone could be connected to another person that is toxic. Someone could feel like they are bound and stuck in a relationship. But... Or someone could be manipulating or manipulative and it's causing it's going to cause a disappointment in the future with the ten of swords. It's going to result in a some type of disappointment. 
So let's see what's going on. Because someone with the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom, someone may not know another person's worth. So this is this could result in a um a disappointment. Someone is not seeing the other person's worth. And it could be because this someone it someone may be in another relationship, but that we'll find let's see what's going on. Spirit, why is the four of wands there? Yeah. Three of cups. Someone is dealing with another person. Why is the hanging man here for the sign of Scorpio? Mm. Yep, two of wands, four of pentacles, the moon card again on top of the moon card. Yep, this is something that's in that's hidden. This is a secret. The seven of pentacles. Why is the seven of pentacles? The six of pentacles. Why is the six of cups here? Something is definitely the four of wands again. The four of wands again. Okay. That's too many cards. But we have the queen of swords. The queen of swords. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Pisces. Or I have Pisces in your chart. We have the eight of cups. Yep. Someone's walking away. The world card in the reverse. Yep. The death card. Your energy, Scorpio, at the bottom of the deck. Something could definitely be over because someone has there someone has another person. So we have the four of wands. So someone is in a marriage or some type of long term commitment. Someone is in a commitment. And I feel like this person that's in this commitment is dealing with another person. Like, there's someone else outside of this relationship. So, the outside relationship is stuck in the air. It's, it's like not moving forward. Because this person with this two of wands has a decision to make. Someone has a decision to make pertaining to if they want to nurture this new situation. Libra energy. Pisces and Libra energy so far. So, because this person hasn't decided on who they want to be with, someone is holding back. Either you're holding back or this person is holding back because someone is dealing with another person. We have two moon cards here. This is a secret relationship. This is hidden, secret relationship with the seven of wands here you or this person someone wants to still continue someone wants to continue to work on this relationship because they want to things to work out they're trying to balance it up balance it up balance the relationship out but they are given to two people someone is getting more than the other they want to reconnect because this is a um they feel like this is a um this could be a like a past life situation or relationship or they want to reconnect because you make them happy but they're married four wands again or and they're committed to someone else someone is committed to someone else you or this person are going to or going to diligently to work continue to work within this relationship but someone is going to get cut off with this queen of swords. Someone is going to get cut off because the relationship is toxic with the double card. And someone is going to walk away. Eight of cups. Someone is walking away because this situation is toxic. It's disappointing. They're, they're, they feel heartbroken. Heartbroken. It's not successful. They don't want to start a new beginning. Could be a fixed sign. A Scorpio, uh, an Aquarius, a Leo, or a Taurus. Someone is heartbroken, disappointed, and they don't want to start over. It's 
It's too much for them. And I have a love oracle card for the sign of Scorpio. If this is your story, comment below. Share, like, and subscribe as well. Healing the heart. Someone is healing from this situation because it was toxic. It says freedom from toxicity. Someone it was being toxic by dealing with you and someone else. Like that's not that's not what's up. We we are not. I feel like right now the time that we're in, that that player energy should be done and done and over with. Like that's how I feel. Can I have a love oracle card for the sign of Scorpio? Okay. See what these cards say. The snake. Yeah, this person was a snake. Playing, playing, trying to play games. Gambling, taking risks, taking a chance. Yep. Playing with the, your life, another person's life. Lightning. Lightning. A sudden change. Someone needs to go through. And that's why the death card is here. Transformation. Someone needs to go through a transformation. Why is lightning here? Why is the lightning card here? Yeah. Heartbroken. This caused some type of heartbreak. Some this struck some whatever took place struck took struck someone out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. And now a new phase is going to begin with this ascendant. Someone is moving forward. Someone is moving forward. Let's pull. Let's see. Will this relationship work out for the sign of Scorpio? Will this relationship work out for the sign of Scorpio? I would assume not because it's, it's a big secret. I mean, you got the moon card here two times. You have the moon card here two times. Of course not. Not possible. And I'm just taking these cards. In into the O. <laughs> Act something else. These are no dear. At the bottom of the deck, spirit that told you, no, nah, this situation is clearly over. Someone is not returning to the past. That's that's for sure. That is for sure. This person is not returning and doing they this 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 relationship is not. Scorpio, you're walking away from someone or someone is walking away from you. This is over. Spirit has spoke. What message do you have for the sign of Scorpio, Spirit? What do you want them to do? What do you want them to know? What do you want them to see? What do you want them to work on? What message do you have for my Scorpios? Okay. All right, let's see. Spirit wants you to... Oh, see, someone has children or the spirit is saying, stop acting like a child or have some children. Is it time for you? Are you, do you have someone pregnant or do you have children? Focus on your children, but something pertaining to children. So Scorpio, I am going to leave it at that. I'm sending you light, love, peace, and healing energy. If this is your situation, share, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I thank you for watching and enjoy the weekend in this upcoming week as well. And I will see you next time. Bye.